Oh, shots fired! Shit! Shots fired, dispatch! Shots fired! Holy shit! What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of LSPD Far's Day. We're going to be back in the city, but we're kind of going to kind of going to do some highway patrol stuff, but more like a freeway patrol for the city. Uh, we are using the Woodstock Police skin still on the city. Uh, this is on the Ford Explorer. Uh, the skins are made by myself. The vehicle is made by Infidel. It is the newest version of his LSSD pack. I'm not sure if much changed on the Explorers, on the Unmarks anyway. I know that the uh, Slick Top, or the Marked ones changed. New Raid, uh, new, the Valor is different, the placement's different, but this is it. Uh, the light stages, because I know you guys like to see it. Stage one, traffic advisor, right to left. Now I have my uh, ELS sped way up because Indiana State Police flashes really fast, and ELS couldn't capture it on the normal, so it sped up. Stage two gives you some blue. And then stage three is everything. Alright. And then of course you have your takedowns. And you have your spotlight, should you want to use that, which also rotates. So yeah, we're going to do some uh, freeway stuff, traffic stops, and we'll see what calls come our way, but mostly we're going to do some traffic stops and some speed enforcement on the uh, double bridge here. So let's uh, get the party started. 1637, you can show me 1041 tonight. Citizens reporting an attempted bank heist in Pillbox Hill. 16 days, everybody. Show me now. Alright, so apparently we've got an attempted bank robbery, so that is a call that we will definitely go to. Respond code 3. Temple. So, uh, respond code 3. I did change the siren out. I put the ADK in, the federal signal ADK, just see how that goes. Turn that off. I think I took the wrong exit. Show me in the area. Almost used my uh, 5M sign. 
Oh, shots fired! Shit! Shots fired, dispatch! Shots fired! Holy shit! Code four. Suspects are fleeing the crime. No further units required. Assistance needed in pillbox hill. 1687 Give me a lot of units. We'll Pretty sure he left already. Am I coming? Come on. Alright. Let's clear it. How are you guys in here already? Vault's closed. That won't let me in there. Whoa, my! All right. Well, I guess that's. I guess that's that. Well, I wasn't ready for that. And I got hit. 16 days. I can we get EMS out here? Check me out. It's uh, looks like I got hit in the neck. Assistance required in Pillbox Hill. So we'll get EMS to come out here and check me out. Make sure I'm good. I guess he took off. So I guess they'll they'll canvas the area and find him. We've got a criminal resisting arrest on a Olympic freeway. Uh, Star Chase. Uh, 16 days I'm ready. You can show me in real. Uh, we've got... So, wait for EMS to check me out. And then we've got a Star Chase. But well, it looks like it might be the person that just ran from us, so... Please check me out real quick. Holy fuck, man. I don't I know it. I appreciate it, bud. Thanks. All right, and then I'm gonna I need a. Friend. Hey, I'm gonna borrow your charger. <laughs> I really, really need a uh, we're gonna use this charger. Hello. Hello. Um, absolutely legit, right? It's absolutely legit. Let's turn this off. Right, so we've got a pursuit, a star chase. Uh, presumably the vehicle that uh, the guy that just shot me up took off in. So we're gonna borrow this guy's charger. <laughs> Some black intruder. It looks like he got off and back on. I think he stayed on the freeway. Oh. Come on, come on, car. Where is he? I guess he did get off. Get out of the way. Black intruder. Oh, why? Oh, there, I see it. 
I think I see it anyway. Nope. I found it, but it ain't the one I thought it was. 1637. I got eyes on that vehicle. Going to be northbound Interstate 1. And he's hauling ass, too. Does this car even have the star chase on Guess we're just pursuing them. Alright, 16 days seven. Give me a few additional units. Seven Frank Victor. Requested permission to pit. We are cleared to pit, so we'll do that. As soon as we get off this bridge. Oh, he brake checked the shit out of me. 16 days, be advised, he just brake checked me. Still going to be northbound, US Route 13. Great, check me again. Pit unsuccessful. Great, now I'm gonna die. Oh, he just 1050 with another vehicle. And still going. Sixteen is still northbound US Route 1. I've got to get a different handling line. The pit system in this game is fucking terrible. He just ran me again and again. Let me see your hands, motherfucker! Get down on the ground! Watch crossfire, watch crossfire. Down the fucking ground! Suspect is on foot dispatch, we're in pursuit! Take your last breath of breath. 16 days, seven. We have one ten fifteen in custody. Pursuit's gonna end uh, westbound US Route 13. No, oh, I moved the controller button. We are code four. Suspect in custody. Oh, you are in a lot of trouble, bro. Turn around. Uh, apparently, uh, I'm gonna need a taxi now. Pistol magazine, okay. Alright, let's grab him. Borrow on your explorer. Put into rear vehicle seat. Now see, I disabled ambient police, and they're still driving around. That's pissing me off. Excuse me, I'm late. Can you move? Oh Jesus! Can I not get in this car? Alright, 
I can't get in that. I wonder if they let me open it up. So I can't even... Turn the siren off. I can't open up the computer. I can't do anything. All right, so they brought me a vehicle so that I could uh, do my thing. Since the guy's vehicle, I took. <laughs> he took it back. Dylan Ritchie. Create an arrest report. Felony traffic. Aggravated fleeing or attempting to elude. Hit and run. Leaving the scene of an accident. Oh, vehicular assault for ramming me. And then we also have the weapons. I don't know what he did with the weapon. That's for the bank. I won't be able to tell about the serial number or nothing because uh, we didn't have it. Discharged within 500 feet of a dwelling. That he did. Shooting from vehicle or roadway. He didn't do that. Nah. Alright. Oh, assault with a firearm. Alright. Reckless endangerment, aggressive, careless driving, reckless driving. There we go. All right. All right. Sixty days I've ready. You can get transferred out here. Now. Assistance required in uh, Mount Gordo. I appreciate it. I guess I should have searched this before I did his charges, because now I'll probably find all kinds of interesting shit in here. Thank you. Nope. Well, there's a rifle in there. 16 day seven. You send a tow truck. Flatbed. Assistance required on the Sonora Freeway. All right. So somebody asked how I do the uh, radio noises. I'm actually just in the silver lining. Uh, team speak, and I'm using the same uh, team speak sounds. That's all I'm doing. All right, so that is over. All right, 16 days. Everything should be clear. I'll be back code for today. And so the car in front of me is running 53 right now. Oh, look at that SUV. I was actually pacing that car at over the speed limit, but now this SUV just cut him off. So we're going to actually have a chat with him real quick. Alright. Let's 
see what this guy's issue is and where he's going in such a hurry or why he cut that car off. Oh, I forgot to hold the button down. Hey, how you guys doing? I'm also guards to the Los Santos Police Department. You guys get your driver's license, registration, proof of insurance on you. You got your ID? All right, Mr. Andrew, I appreciate that. All right, guys, so I got, what's what's going on today? You know why I'm pulling you over? You got a list, but you'll see. Okay, all right, well, actually, the reason I'm stopping you is you cut that car off back there. Because they had to slam on their brakes, which in cause made me slam on my brakes. So there's, you know, that's why. It might not be bad, but, you know, in your eyes, but it's the chain reaction behind you that causes that. You know what I mean? Alright, do you guys have anything illegal in the vehicle? Any drugs in the vehicles? I'm going to be honest. I'm noticing an, uh, an odor of narcotics coming from the vehicle. Alright, let's, let's not divert my conversation okay all right have you used any drugs today mm, no sir just asking some questions all right passengers do you have identifications on you guys as well you got your ID thanks all right. Regina all right mrs. Carter and Arabe thank you all right you guys sit tight for me okay All have gun permits too. That's interesting. All right, so Alex is the one driving. He does not have a gun permit, and he already has a ticket for failure to yield entering a highway. So, which is exactly what he just did. Parking possession person's under 21. So he actually has a, a prior possessions charge too, and a concealed carry handgun license. She also has a concealed carry hand and disorderly conduct. So I'm going to uh, get another officer right here, and then uh, we're gonna search the vehicle. I gotta straighten my car out, or the next officer will destroy it. 1637 radio. Can you send me an additional unit, K9, please? Assistance needed on a. Delta 1637. Air spotlight support. That's neat. So we're waiting. Uh, we've got a K9 coming. Copy dispatch. Victor 13 is in the area. Oof. That. All right. So now that he's here, I'll redo my position. He'll park crooked behind me if, if not. Wait, where are you go? Hey, my man. Is he really going to walk all the way to that side of the barrier? There he is. Hey, what's going on, bud? Alright, so, uh, the... I got odor narcotics coming from the vehicle. The back left passenger, uh, has, already has a prior for, uh, possession. So I'm just going to run the dog around it and um, see what we got. And then we'll pull them out one by one. Alright, so he's going to run the dog around it. In some cases, you'd think that you pull them out. I don't know. There's the dog. This is a terrible spot for a traffic stop, apparently. I'm just gonna sit in my truck till they're done. I 
canine alerted the vehicle, you have probable cause. All right. All right, driver, go ahead and step out for me. All what right. are you, a blind? No, sir. Go ahead, turn, put your hands behind your back. Right now, you're not being placed under arrest. You're just being detained. The dog alerted to the vehicle, okay? So that means we're going to search the vehicle and everybody in it. All right, let's walk back here. Hey, you want to um, pat him down for me? I'm going to pull the uh, back right passenger out, if you would, please. All right, boy, go ahead and hop out for me. All right, let's go ahead and turn. Put your hands behind your back. Like I said, you're not being placed under arrest yet. We're just detaining you until we can figure out where the uh, where the narcotics are that the dog alerted to. So that guy's got a baggie of uh, substance in it. All right, ma'am, go ahead and turn around. Put your hands behind your back. Can you send a female officer? Out? Uh, I need a female officer. Where is that at? Why is that not in here anymore? Oh, there we go. Backup needed on a uh, Del Perro freeway. All right, man, you got anything on you that's going to stick me, poke me, stab me, me bleed me, mad needles, hand grenades, rocket launchers, or anything like that? I'm going to turn around for me and patch you down real quick. All right, so we've got a female coming to pat her down. A bottle of Percocet. All right, so he's got a handgun, which he does have a handgun license, so that's fine there. Go ahead and kneel down. Jesus Christ. Hey, you I want appreciate it. Hey, you want to um, guard this one, please? How do you? I know I should be able to do that. Request ask buddy to guard. Hopefully, it'll be her. All right, cool, perfect. Yeah, if you would uh, pat her down for me, please. Have a female officer do that. Red M9 with a scratch serial number. Well, that's not legal. All right. At this time, you're being placed under arrest for possession of a handgun with a serial number scratched off, right? All right. Let's go ahead and walk her back. None of them can go in the canine car. All right. We're going to put her in the females, the female unit. Realistically, you would take this purse off of her, but I can't do that. Go ahead and have a seat. Hi. Hey. Whoa, my! I know, right? All right. So he had. I wonder if it'll let me do it since he searched it. So. We, On it. Got your cover, boy. Uh, the one guy has Percocet. I'll have to figure out who is who. All right, there's the baggie containing brown powder. Uh, it's probably fentanyl. Seems to be what every charge is. Ooh, infidel. Your lights on the trunk don't go. Uh, no. I guess it wasn't. Is it hair on? Is it hair on? Yep, all right. All right, so... Uh, this individual right here is going to be arrested for possession of heroin, heroin, and then this guy is going to be arrested for possession of Percocet, and the female is going to be arrested for the possession of a firearm with a scratched off serial number, and now we will also 
search the vehicle. And another firearm with a scratched off serial number. Oh, wait, which side of the vehicle did that say it was on? Uh, passenger side. So that would be uh, the female. Two weapons with serial numbers? I'm going to assume this guy had a gun on him. So it might be his. Let's talk to him see what he's got to say. All right, bud. All right, so I found a firearm. Okay, he's got one on him, which he has a permit for. Okay. She had one on her, which the serial number is scratched off. Okay. And then there's another one in the passenger side. So that leads me to believe that you all maybe had firearms and maybe you ditched it for the traffic stop. So why don't you tell me about this question, okay? All right, who does that weapon belong to? It's not yours? Okay. You sure? Is there a reason to, why is the serial number scratched off? All right, so it was yours. All right, did you know it's illegal to carry without a permit? Well, you're going to jail for the possession of heroin to anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So, why'd you lie to me about having it? Okay. All right. All right. Well, that's all we need then. All right. Let me, um... Let's run his, uh, 1637 radio. Can you run me a 2729? It's going to be on an Alex Andrew 12452. So nothing there. So Alex is getting charged with possession of heroin and possession of a firearm with a scratched off serial number. 1637. Can you run me another 2729, please? It's going to be on uh, Farouk Arabe, 59 of 93. And I fucked that name all up. All right. And Mr. Arabe here is going to get charged with uh, possession of Percocet. Uh, the weapon is not illegal. He has a permit for it. However, he'll lose his right to carry. And then the female will get charged with possession of a firearm. So let's do these charges real quick before we forget. So ped records. Regina Carter. Uh, arrest. And her arrest is going to be for the weapon with a scratched off serial number. She has a permit, but not for a scratched off serial number. So that will be the only charge that she gets. Alright. Farouk. He's getting charged with possession of a controlled substance. Nah, he actually had Percocet on him. Which I believe is in here. Yes, right there. Percocet. That is his only charge. And then the driver, Mr. Alex Andrew, is going to receive a citation. Um cutting off another motorist. There to yield entry. Let's see if there's actually cutting someone off. Alright, so... I'm going to say he failed to yield correctly. That's what I'm going to say. Alright, so that's the citation. And then he's also going to be arrested for possession of heroin. A Scheduled 1 narcotics. And it was one bag, so it's not a intent to distribute charge. Let's turn that off. We won't be needing that. Alright. All right, man. So here's what's going on, okay? You're going to receive a citation today, all right? It's going to be for failure to yield to the highway the correct way, all right? And then uh, you're also being arrested for possession of heroin, okay? Unless you want to tell me who the heroin belongs to. I mean, I found it on you, so it's, it's, it's going to you. All right, so here's your ticket. I will put this in your pocket. There you go. And we will get prisoner transport out here. Uh, I'm going to dismiss this guy because I don't want him transporting.
I appreciate you hanging out, bud. Does that not work? Hold you or D-pad up to dismiss. I did, and he's not listening. Perfect. I like when you listen. All right. Um. 16 days every day. We can get prisoner transport out here. Uh. Two suspects separate. Well, we can do it in one. Assistance required. Uh, on, uh, all right. So Delco she's already got one in her car. Mother of God. I don't know what he's trying to do. Oh, there's another car coming. Okay. So she's got two in her car. There's another one coming for him, which I should have just taken them all in the van. And they'll also get tow for this. 16 takes everybody. You want to get uh, tow out here, please? Flatbed. Assistance required on Del Perro Freeway. Pursuit concluded. What? I swear this game is dumb sometimes. You asshole. You asshole. And then now I can dismiss Thank all you. officers. There we go. Okay. Go fuck your mom Tow truck is them. here. Yo, I got meeting. All the suspects are going to jail. Fuck this shit. That ain't good. He said fuck this shit. Alright. I got around a dog to get to. Dog is just all right. So now I know not to do the canine next to a Jersey barrier. That was a pretty bad idea. All right, sixteen day seven. You can show me clear off this. I bet code four and ten eight. All right, let's look at the court cases for today. Let's see. We've got Dylan Ritchie. This is the guy that shot at us at the bank and then took off on the pursuit. He was charged with reckless driving, aggressive careless driving, reckless endangerment, vehicular assault, aggravated fleeing or attempting to elude Leo, leaving the scene of an accident, attempted murder of a police officer, discharge of a firearm with the intent to cause bodily injury or death, assault with a firearm, possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony, and possession or discharge within 500 feet of a dwelling. Uh, 32 years in prison and six months. He was not guilty of aggravated fleeing or attempting to elude a Leo. Oh, is that on? There we go. And he was also found not guilty of assault with a firearm. But I guess that's alright because they gave him uh, 19 years in prison for attempted murder. So 32 years in prison altogether. Where was his big ones? Uh, seven years in prisons for the discharge of firearm, 19 and 4. So those were the big ones, then plus all this time. So he is gone for a while. All right, Regina Carter, she was the female in the vehicle, possession of a firearm with a tampered serial number. Uh, two years in prison for that, fine $364. Farouk Arabi, however you say that, uh, possession of Percocet, uh, two years in prison, fine $323. Alex Andrew, fair to yield, entering a roadway or a highway. This is the ticket that he got. That was a $93 fine, which is funny because it's at a $130 fine uh, when you gave it to him. Alex Andrew, again, possession of Heron. And that was five years in prison and a $501 fine. So there you go. All right, guys. That's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know what you think about everything down in the comments below. And uh, let me know what you think about the skins. Uh, I'll probably release them on my Discord eventually. Right along with the Indiana State Police uh, uh, EUP. Uh, but you guys have to understand that the EUP stuff that I make is for EUP 8.5. It is uh, Patreon beta. Alright, so if you don't have 8.5, my uniforms will not work. I need to stress that because if you download them, if I release them and I download them, if it says 8.5, some of the stuff on there is actually for 8.1. And if I upload stuff and it's for 8.5 and you download it, it will not work if you're running 8.1. So don't download it and get pissy if it don't work. <laughs> so anyways, that's going to do it, guys. Don't forget that you guys are the best. And I will see you in the next one. Take care, guys.